I'd like to now introduce you to Sherry Raftery. Sherry received the 2006-2007 Area Governor Award and the 2007-2008 Excellence in Marketing Award. Sherry was also honored for, by the Home of Little Wonders. Please help me welcome your District 31, 2009-2010 District Governor, Sherry Raftery. Thank you all for coming. First, I would like to thank Constant Communicators for hosting the TLI here. Thank you, Constant. As, as well as the company that's allowing us to be here. And of course, Kimmy, thank you so much. Kimmy. Kimmy is also our newsletter coordinator. Have you been getting the Constant Contact newsletters, I hope? E through the emails, yes? And we're keeping you up to date, and I know that you're reading them because you're telling me my mistakes, my typos. <laughs> Is that at AM or PM? So that's wonderful, and thank you, Kimmy, for doing that. And now I want to thank all of you for coming, and I wanted to recognize past district governors, because past district governors, I feel you now. <laughs> I have about four and a half weeks, uh, four and a half months left, and I certainly know what it's like to run a district and lead and I can't wait for all of you to get your turn to do this. <laughs> so I would like to have past district governors please stand, and former district governors as well. And in our audience tonight, we have Paul Fisher, past district governor. We have Cheryl Barnes, past district governor. And let's hear it for our former district governor, Ariel Marshall. District governors this past year, we lost Charlie Keene, who was in Toastmasters for almost 100 years. <laughs> we also lost uh, Betty Underhill, Dr. Betty Underhill, who was our first female district governor in 1982 and 83, who just happens to be our legit small. Yay! <laughs> yes, we also lost Carmen Lowell. And I'd like to take a moment of silence right now for two people in, in particular. We just found out that our member Dick Karen is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Yes, and we, I'd also like to take a moment of silence for a, a Twin City member. Who is in Twin City, please stand. Yes, and we it was Deanna Batstone, and I have information on her funeral arrangements. I'm gonna pass this card around, please sign it so we can give it to her family and loved ones. And we'll take a moment now. If you are a, if you're currently serving as a division governor, please stand. Division governors, Stefano, yes, Monique, Susan, Van Abs, and Nancy Murphy, thank you and welcome. If you're a past division governor, please stand. And consider me standing. No, I'm not a past division governor. Yes, George. Yes. Thank you all for your service. If you are a past area governor, please stand. Yes, thank you for your service. If you're a current area governor, stand. Wow. <laughs> yes. If you are a current club officer, please stand. Yeah, that should be everybody here. <laughs> yeah. And if you're a past club, club, car, uh, club officer, please stand. And clap and applause. Yay. You are the leaders and the backbone of our district. You, we, you, we look for you, we seek your guidance, your expertise, and your support to move our district forward. And I thank you, we all thank you for your leadership and your service. Are you working through your Toastmasters manuals? Yes. I wanna hear it, yes? Yeah, all right. Please stand if you earned a CC this year. Today. Today, yes! Wow! Please stand if you will receive a CC this year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Great. Please stand if you will receive an advanced communicator this year. Yes. All right. And if you already received one. Yes. Please stand if you received 
uh, a, an advanced leadership award. Yes. This includes the high performance award. Awesome, awesome, awesome. <laughs> Please stand if you earned a CC, an AC, I'm sorry, an acute cons, a, a communicator, <laughs> an advanced communicator, as well as a leadership, advanced leadership. This does not include the HPL. Can we, can we say we will? You can say you will. Yes. <laughs> say, stand if you will. Actually, let's all make a pledge right now and say we will. All or <laughs> So if you earn a CC, an AC, and an AL, thought that is the Triple Crown Award this year. And I have someone here today that earned a Triple Crown. And I am excited to present the Triple Crown Award to someone who's an amazing Toastmaster. But let me just go through some of the clubs that Madam Y.S. Kim is in. <laughs> All right, I, I don't know, let's keep talking, let's count. Talk of the town, early risers, advanced orators, both speakers, Paul D. Stackpole, Central Club, Framingham Natick, Renaissance, am I missing anything? Genzyme, Staples, Village, Toastmasters. Oh my goodness. And Articulators. Oh, we didn't get an award for that club yet. We're working on that. <laughs> and a prison volunteer. So this is our new, this year, Triple Crown Award, and it has your name on it if you earn it. So you won. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Yes. And to speak of being a district governor, I'm going to invite past district governor Cheryl Garns up to share with us what it means and what it's like and what you need to do in the role of district governor. Cheryl Garns. Well, good evening, everyone. I was looking at the back of the forum, and it says, District Governor, as the district's chief executive officer. I almost wish Stefano could read this for me. <laughs> the district governor directs the district in a way that fosters strong clubs, produces maximum growth in educational completions, clubs, and membership. And so, again, I can't say a word about it. You could. I, I, guess almost, you could. I would still have you up here if you could do it. Thank you, Cheryl. We have a conference, a spring conference coming up on, well, I know the details. It's on Saturday, May 15th at the Hilton in Dedham, where we had our last conference for the fall. And we have our key, uh, keynote is our international director coming to visit us, oh. Anna Lee Weber. Isn't that exciting? And I think I found our communication and leadership awardee. I wrote her a letter. I also emailed. And her name is Linda Nathan, and she is a, the founder and co-master of the Boston Arts Academy. All right, I want to introduce to you your current Lieutenant Governor of Education and Training, Bill Lewis, who, as I mentioned, his mom was our past district governor. So it's no surprise that Bill wants to move up in the leadership track and become, imagine if this happens, if he became the district governor, this would be a first for District 31, that we would have a mom and son be district governors. I don't even think there's any other district that's done that. I know husband and wife have done that. But I would like to introduce you, as I said, to Bill Lewis, your Lieutenant Governor at Education and Training. Thank you very much, Gary. It's a great pleasure to be here. I hope that you are all having a marvelous time. We're about to break out.